All good there, and I'll start the live transcript too. Okay, all good there. Okay, welcome everybody. Um, we're seven on this call. Hopefully, we could have more people join us here. Um, 12th October, it's a DEI working group meeting. Um, I'm sure everyone has um, put their name in the attendance list. And um, for those who do not have the uh, meeting minutes, you could still request for them. And um, I think um, Elizabeth, you could put those in the channel, in, in the chat as, as you hear. <laughs> All right, um, I'm not sure. I copied this and pasted it here, but of course it has some action items. And um, I'm not sure whether there is any other new thing um, anybody wants to discuss about. You could just add it down here. And as we go on, we could um, look through it because I'm sure um, some of the things have been discussed in the previous DEI meetings and um, there is um, less information about them, maybe apart from the last one that's talking about uh, a new metric. Um, but otherwise, I don't know how I'm seeing an action item here by Elizabeth. I don't know whether she remembers it and has updates about it. I, I did remember it. I did not get a chance to work on that from last oh. week. So um, I'm, actually, I'm putting it to the top of my to-do list. Right um, doing there was a discussion. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth, you could um, expound on that. Yeah, so I was thinking about, um, you know, like when you when you join a company, sometimes they give you a list of here are the things to do to kind of get your get onboarded into like what our company is about, what your you know who who does what, all that kind of thing. And so I thought, well, maybe like we could do something like that for our newcomers, where they they would have like a list of things that they could check off. My original thought was that they would there would be like a template in our community repo or somewhere that they would um, copy and paste in their own issue in their own repo somewhere, you know, just to kind of keep track of like what they've done and all of that. And then we could like link to things in that issue. But um, it seems like it would be better on the website based on the conversations that have been around that idea. So um, my action item was to kind of put that together and think about how that would look on the website, but I did not do that. So, because I'm awesome. Okay. Sorry, do you want to start this right now? Do you want to work on it as a group? I mean, I'm happy to, I, I love using these meetings to kind of kick off this kind of work. I mean, yeah, I would love that. Um, I don't know if, ever, if we have time uh, or if we want to go through the agenda first and then come back to it if we have time. Because okay. I know Anita has some things about the survey to talk about probably. So whatever y'all want to do. Maybe we could get an update on from Anita, and then I'll start yeah, the doc. I think, um, yeah. Okay. I think we can um roll through the uh, the minutes. Then um we could come back because I'm sure there would be some time left. Of course, um you never know. Anyway, <laughs> we could run into a discussion. <laughs> okay. Um, we could come back up there. Um, Anita, uh, I saw her on the call. She must be in attendance. Oh yeah, I'm right here. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Yeah, we could have more information about this. I'm sure you talked about it um during um the previous call. Yes. But, so um, um we can have more from... information here. Oh, all right. Um, so the suggestions from last week, this ones I implemented them and um so and talked to Um, I talked to Kevin about it because it was Kevin that brought okay. this up. So I showed Kevin concerning the um, questions that he pointed mm -hmm. out. And um, what he said, it sounded a lot better. So I improved on it. And now the form is actually ready. And um, if you check the social media handles, you must have seen the links already. The form is currently ready. I'm sending it to some communities. I already dropped it in the sustain. DEI working group um, discuss forum and uh, a few other open source communities that I'm familiar with. I'm going over the templates, the spreadsheets, the community suggested on the temp 
on the spreadsheet I shared previously. So I'm going over the communities that are listed out in this spreadsheet and um, reaching out to them about this and I'm crossing my fingers. Um, I sure. had a question, I had a few questions for Anita. Okay. Um, did you know how long you were going to hold that open? Did you have a timeline for that? Yes. Yeah, so I left it open for a month. Okay. But um, by the second week, we should start to check out the response and um, look out for those that are interested to participate in the one-on-one -on -one interviews because okay. the essence of this initial survey is to get participants for the one-on-one -on -one interviews. Okay. And also like the overall um, response from the community too. Gotcha. And then did you, um, did you also want to just reach out to people to do the interviews as well, even if they didn't do the survey? Well, I think we have to discuss that right now. Okay. <laughs> personally, I thought if we had to like reach out to persons that we're familiar with, we won't get like um, the general response or we'll just hear the thoughts of people that we um, we know and we're familiar sure. with. I don't know. Yes, but I think we should discuss that here now. So does any other person have a thought towards this? Um, I mean, your, your point's well taken, right? If we just interview ourselves, <laughs> we're, we're going to get... That's not helpful, really. <laughs> no, <laughs> or interview people that we know. So maybe um, maybe we could see what the response to your point, Anita, like is from the survey. And if that's not generating the type of, um, like the types of connections that you would like, then maybe we can just worry about that later that's all right um, i'm wondering why this um, link is i'm going dropping. to update that right now i think that's a, um, the test we used earlier and then my other comment is so this is also for anita while you're yeah. updating while you're updating that um so we've as you know we've been running kind of a, a community survey Elizabeth has been, you know, promoting this. It actually closes today, yesterday, um, today. And so yeah. part of part of what we're going to be doing with that information is obviously kind of feeding that, you know, back into the chaos community as to how we can do better uh, as a community. But we're also going to be like participating in uh, like outreach activities at conferences to talk about our survey and talk about what we learned and talk about what we're doing in response to what we learned. And I'm wondering if the work that you're doing could also kind of accompany that outreach. You know, so yes. Elizabeth has her data and then you will also have some insights as well. And I, I think maybe we should bring those two together. Yeah, so when this topic was initially brought up, that I think that's what we're looking at to take this survey to conferences. But okay. I think um, after the survey and we've retrieved all of the data, we can also take it to conference. So I think that's a great idea. Okay. Because like then I'm, I'm thinking maybe you and Elizabeth, like kind of once you start getting some information and Elizabeth, you start kind of understanding the information that you have. Like how you could, I don't even think it has to be like this survey says this and this survey says that. Like, you know, it's kind of say collectively, here's what we're understanding from the community and the work that we're doing. Um, and it would be nice too to include you in that, Anita, because I don't, it would, I don't know, if, are you going to conferences this year as well? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay, I'm just, we're trying to think of like ways that we can, you know, talk about the results and sometimes the, the more people we have that can help like getting the message out, the better. Um, but you and I could talk about, about that if you had an interest in kind of helping talk about the results more broadly than like in this, but like at a conference or something like that. 
Mm -hmm. All right. Support that. Okay, then. Um, I think I'll reach out so we can talk more on that. Okay. Elizabeth, does that make sense to you? I don't. Know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It makes okay. a ton of sense. Okay. All right. Hmm. This is running so fast. Nice. Um, don't forget to update the link, um, Anita. Right there. Oops. Hold on. I'm, I was messing up the docs. <laughs> okay. Um, we have, um, I don't know how much far we went with this. Um, in the last meeting, I remember there was, um, there was some things we were still looking at. Um, is there any pending issue uh, regarding this metric? No. So this is just so okay. people know, like, this is a metric that we're working on as associated with the chaos DEI project badging. And I think the project badging effort is in a, in a very fluid state a lot. And so um, we're still kind of determining what are, what are the things that we want to ask. Now this metric though, is one that um, would be associated with the DEI.md file. So it is important that I kind of get this through. I haven't done it, but I haven't okay. done it. Um, th this is like a personal, um, it's a personal thing? You yeah, so actually if you, if you click, you know, if you scroll oh, yeah. up a little bit, mm -hmm. keep going. See the, see the metric can be found here, like the second line at 464. Mm, yeah. So, I mean, the metric is here. So if you click on files changed. Mm. Yep, so okay. the metric is here. So I, I think it's, um, I think it's ready. It's okay. mostly just, I need to, there's still like a few things that I need to do. Um, All right. Just to kind of right. go through the process of getting this to be officially under review. And I just haven't done that yet. All right. Um, Somebody could merge it. Action. Somebody could merge that. I, Look, I would looks find. like it's already mined. No. Oh, is it merged? Oh, um, I don't think so. Oh, sorry. So I, I wouldn't mind. Oh, not yet. I can Ooh. merge that. I, I, or do that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is based on community <laughs> conversation. So this is not, this wasn't just me. <laughs> like like writing this in one pass. This was kind of the whole process of going through the Google Doc. So I can merge it right now. All right. Okay. Sure. All right. Um, okay. I think then we can um, go back, back to to our to this the first um the first first uh, agenda and then we can see how to continue with that looks like um unless there is um any other thing that um needs to be discussed um i did we can have it here i just wanted i did want i missed the badging meeting today was there any anything that was important there we reviewed the badging bots you go ahead enoch yep i uh, we mostly had updates about how the budging body is going and the updates we're making. We're trying to transition um, and uh, make communication seamless between GitHub and also Slack, since most of the reviewers are on Slack and some of also the applicants are on Slack. Um, so I'm trying to study the Slack API in depth because um, we want to, oh, I still have the window open here. I could show you something. Um, I was running some tests of um, how this looks like and what kind of information we could be using. I've already integrated the bot in our workspace, but of course it's still under test. Um, and what we want to do is we want to make sure that the maintainers are aware of what is always happening. Like if a reviewer, sometimes when Elizabeth is um, 
once check whether a review is done, she has to ask a reviewer. So, but here a reviewer can just issue a command um, that I'm done with a review. We shall see what command that could be. And then the bot can just tell Elizabeth that, hey, actually come and check out. There is um, a certain review that has been done. And if it's fine, just issue an end command and boom, uh, the other magic will happen on its own. Or if there are things that are pending, she will have to um, see how to resolve that. Also, we're trying. I'm trying to test out um, how Slack gets its um, events, mm -hmm. and um, I think this wasn't well formatted. But this was some markdown I was trying to to put out to see whether we could actually have someone do the review from their Slack DM. So if um. It's an interesting idea. If um, a checklist is assigned, someone could come here and use this message in sync with um, the GitHub um, issue comment section so that um, the transparency remains there. Does that seem possible? That you could use Slack to do the review? Anyone? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Enoch was going in and out on the last meeting too. Um, I think to do the, I mean, I think we could build a bot. Nick, correct me if I'm wrong. That would step us through the process of doing the reviews. Yes. Okay. And it would update the. Yeah, GitHub. I think that's what he's testing right now. Yeah, yeah. he's testing it. So okay. I think that's the end. That's the end goal, <laughs> so that people don't even have to go to GitHub, but it's all still out there on GitHub as a transparent process. Okay, so. gotcha. And I, I could still use GitHub if I wanted, I'm yes. guessing. If you're into that sort of thing, yes. <laughs> okay. okay, and that's just for the reviewers. For the submitters, they would still go through the just the, the standard process. For now, yeah. Yeah, okay. just because they come from wherever and they're not like in our Slack. Yeah, order. no, that's fair. No, that's yeah. really interesting. Okay. Um, Okay, cool. Thanks for that update. And then um, I, the other one, the other update was the the Slack bot update. So not the badging bot update, but the Slack bot update. I think I've been seeing, Anita, are you working on that too? The Slack bot update? Oops. Whatever that was. <laughs> hi, hi, Enoch. <laughs> Welcome yeah. back. Whatever that was, I can't. <clears throat> I can't understand. Yeah, um, I was just trying to finish up, but I think I was done with um, that update. And also, um, for so, but the, the last point I think where I was cut off while I was trying to give update about this was um, we'll try to keep this in sync with um, with the comment section. That's it of the of the events and diversity repo so that everything is transparent while you are in the slack um channel trying to interact with the bot in your dm everything is reflected back here in yeah. the comment sections or yeah like um, it's not really a private conversation okay um, yeah, i mentioned that yeah sure then um the other thing also um we talked about the budging um website um which um, is not yet um, running off very fast because um, most of um, the things like, like um, margin pull requests and reviewing code need me to create some more time to be actively checking out um, code to, to be reviewing code and also managing um, the margin of um, the contributions. I am still struggling to create at least extra time to do that at least for some period of time. So that at least we get this um, done so quick and fast. Um, hopefully, I can have that um, in the mid of next week. But um, we're going to have a meeting with the Chaos Africa folks because they're the most contributors tomorrow. Um, so that um, we can um, try to address some of the issues. Um, we have um, folks who are not yet sure of um, how to contribute, um, where to find resources, and also where to. In, uh, it's basically about streamlining human resource uh, yeah okay. and um i don't know whether pe people have had chance to look at the figma file for the boat 
oh sorry for the website but um sean was having it with the link that's why i'm trying to pull it up but it looks pretty good would this be the new application website yeah well, um we, we just were just want to yeah we were discussing whether the new application website would be included in the cast website or separate <clears throat> it would be included okay yeah. yes then yeah okay. um our goal i think our end goal would be to to bring that and if if you can if you can have a look at um, this section oh yeah i've seen this I, hey, I mean you made me changes this is amazing I just want to say I love, 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 I love all of this, but I especially love the timeline or like the pr progress, I don't know what you call that, progress bar thing, oh. where you're showing the steps you mean like, and like um, where you are in the process. Oh, so good. <laughs> uh, well, I thank you. Um, we are trying to integrate that if you can look at particularly this page. Um, which provides um, for applying for the badge. Then the next page here, I think it's the same. Oops, what? <clears throat> this was a duplicate, would have been a duplicate. But in the end, what we want to actually achieve is um, we want to see how we integrate the review process from here, but that is really something that um, was still in discussion. We've not yet thought of how to do that because um, there are things we should keep in mind, transparency, and um, peer review, and also making sure that um, people do not have to sign up on a lot of very many accounts or have this and this. They could use their available accounts to go through this review. Um, but we wanted to get at least um, the pieces of, inf of information that are around, like the information surrounding what the badge is, how to apply for it, um, what is the roadmap into having all of these, um there is also more information into just stuff connected around the i budget oh, this this is a section that yeah. wasn't yet figured out um which is project budging uh there wasn't a lot of information about this so well like yeah. i think for now we can just design a placeholder for it and leave it as blank as that but i was discussing with the folks Good that were uh, dei budget meeting that once we have stuff about project budget figured out, we could actually just capitalize on um, on um, making this solid, making this website solid enough, and we could just bring all the information okay. we need about project budget under here. Yep. So those are okay. the major updates we had about um, about the meeting. That okay. No, that's amazing. So then on the okay. So I understand this like as connected to the web page because i certainly think that all of the stuff that you're showing enoch would end up on the web page um sean you yeah. had mentioned maybe not on the web page no it's no I, I um i just wasn't sure when we were looking at the website design and the mm -hmm. parts for this if this was included i was yeah, just it is. yeah i was thinking it would be but i wasn't 100 percent certain okay yeah okay and then um so then the other question I had was like around the Slack bot. I guess we're talking about bots in this meeting, or I am. Yeah, no, I <laughs> think that's uh... the, the Slack yeah, the bot. Slack bot. So that's, so I just was watching a thread and it was about creating an image for the home page. Here, if you can stop sharing your screen for a second. Oh, you know, okay, okay. I'll share my screen. I can't do that. I don't know why Zoom can't so just this, allow you to take over. So there's this okay. imagery, which is about the Slack bot. And I'm guessing this is the newcomer Slack bot. Mm. So I, I, I guess had I, a chance to look at the logo. Okay. Anymore. And this is here. like an, Anita was part of this conversation. So there's some design work and again, it's absolutely gorgeous. And um, I'm just kind of curious, like where, where will that imagery go? Like as we're doing the Slack bot, Slack bot is that like all the, the 
event imagery, like what you were showing, Enoch, like that makes sense to me. That goes on the website. So how do we, is that going into the newsletter? Elizabeth, do you, are you part of this conversation? She has been. Okay. I have been. I didn't oh, know. I don't know. Maybe you weren't. Uh, I, I, I don't when remember. I, it's when we were looking at it. She was shaking her head no while you no, were saying right. she has well, been. When, when we were looking at it today, it sounded like the discussion had been ongoing in the group, and I've missed it for about a month. So okay. I'm like I mean, I coming have in. Seen the, yeah, I've seen the website prototypes, so. but this badging um, bot logo, I have not seen that. Okay. So I just, like, I want to make sure that. Sorry, the, black bot. Logo. Where did you get that? It was in a. Um, Mark, where did you get that? So it's a. Let me give you the. Because it also looks new to me. Looks like um, a bolt. A bolt with an L, like not a bolt. <laughs> it's this. Okay. Got it. It's an issue. Oh. Okay. And so I just want to make I, sure that, I, like, if we're doing, if we're, if folks are doing this, like, amazing work, that we're capturing it. Elizabeth, you're you're muted, but like we're. Capturing oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I I kind I've been on the fringes, so okay. I think for the for the Slack bot documentation that they're writing. Uh -huh. So if someone wants to contribute, they're going to yeah. do a wiki on the GitHub. I on see. The GitHub. So um, that would go on that as just like a to make it look a little friendlier and not okay. as wiki-ish so that, so that will go in the slack bot documentation so it'd be like on the slack bot like that wiki tab yes that, okay yes. and that will be all about the slack bot itself and how to contribute and like how it's written and all of that okay stuff. and could we like use that imagery on the readme of the just Slack Probably. bot? Yeah. okay okay yeah, so that's, that's what that is so we don't yes. need to connect. I'm just making sure we don't like need to connect that with Kevin somehow. Like you know what I mean? It, yeah, the, I don't think so. stuff. Okay. Yeah, okay. I don't. I don't. Think so at this point, I think yeah. Okay. Okay, that sounds that helps. Thank you. Oh, I'm surprised actually. Um, I don't know. I can see the issue here. Um, Anita had um, commented had replied to the comment, but I don't know how it skipped her mind to bring it up in um, one of these calls so that we could discuss about it also. I, have, I think the discussion's amazing and it looks like it's tied to Hacktoberfest a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just wanna, my point, I just wanted to make sure I like there wasn't something that I was supposed to be doing or maybe Elizabeth is supposed to be doing in oh. terms of like kind of raising this up in some way that, that needs to be, that just needs to a broader audience, but it sounds like it's it's good where it is. That was it. <laughs> uh, I was just making sure on that. <laughs> so it wasn't about the discussion at all. It was just making sure that it doesn't need to be promoted in a different way, or it needs to be connected to another part of the project in a different way. There might be help that is needed there. That's it. No, I think I think also we. Um... I don't know, I think since um, we're having people trying to contribute in that way, um, the website working group um, has has always mentioned that they're coming up with um, sort of a brand guideline. Yeah, uh, I do that too. When I, you know, just part of this whole process, like I've seen such amazing design work going on that I want to just make sure that it it's getting out there <laughs> and being being seen by others as well and that we can you know recognize that work you know kind of one of our own metrics but recognize the work that people are doing and really help ensure that that we're kind of promoting that work as well so okay nice um so we could um oh we could go back to Unless there is um, another concern or another um, thing that we've forgotten or that needs clarity. If there is none, we still have some 10 minutes, I should say, um, to go back and look at um, what Elizabeth was and Matt were trying to propose. Oh, she already even created a doc. So I don't know what discussion we wanted 
to expand more on concerning the first agenda. Yeah, I just started a doc. Um, there's only two things on there <laughs> so far. So whatever you all think, I can certainly build it out outside this meeting as well, whatever we want to do. And, um, go ahead, Enoch. No, no, no. I was saying, Mark. I didn't hear what what was there. I think um, um, my audio skipped some um, some stuff you were saying. But I was like, you were having some something to raise. I mean, well, Elizabeth was trying to give up this about this first issue. No, I'm just. I'm, I was just looking at this document that you had, Elizabeth. And so, like, the idea would be. How do you make that box? <laughs> How do you make the, do you just have to copy it? Uh, you have to have <laughs> skills. Matt. I don't have that <laughs> skill, apparently. Have have I just have to like copy and paste the whole line and then yes. go back. <laughs> yes. You're going to have to. Um, so oh, like I thought this was a checkbox. Attend the chaos. Okay, so. But these are the things like we also had some of this we could pull from the outreachy that we had folks go through, like just to kind of get to know us. And I think we've kind of written some of this stuff out already in places, but yeah. I was thinking about this today, like maybe we could encourage. So we have the good first issue label and the Hacktoberfest label. And mm -hmm. I do, do I, is there anything to be said about trying to encourage people to participate in an issue that's already going? You know what I mean? Like walking into a conversation a little bit, but you don't have to be the first person. To, like I think sometimes the, being the first commenter on an issue could be a little intimidating. You know, so we have this good first issue, like create this document and um, but if others have already started it, kind of like even just in this example, the newcomer, I'm, like you've already started it, it's a little easier for me to add into it once you kind of got the, kind of got things going. Yeah, I, I think it adds a lot of confidence to any new contributor once they see an issue that has a new um, good first issue or, um, I don't know, there is another label that I'm forgetting, but once an issue is, has those labels um it gives confidence to someone who is a newcomer to be like okay hey looks like um this is something i can easily jump onto and um but would, i don't know be, what kind like of a, it would be like a label like join us discussion happening <laughs> you know something yeah. like that come on down <laughs> you know <laughs> come on. something like that like you can read what everybody is saying so far and maybe participate that way okay and um there, there, were, there is also some content that was developed while um, the Chaos Welcome boat was being designed. I think if you if you if you if you type in newcomer, um, the Chaos boat has some information also on how to help you on board. Um, isn't there something we would love to maybe copy and paste here or use? Though I can't find where that is. Mm, a lot of activity going on here. Okay. Is helping Elizabeth? What's that? Is this helping? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Are these kind of the things you're looking for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, uh, if you look at like at our participate page, like it's basically that also. Like, mm -hmm. here are all the ways you can connect. So, yeah. Like all of the things that we point people to. I think okay. would be good to just have a central thing. And we do have like a, I think Ruth and um, 
Shoya are working on a quick start also. So there okay. may be some overlap. I don't know. Um, I'm a checklist kind of person. Like I just like to check things off my list. So that's what speaks to me. That's why I thought of this. Okay. Hi, Justin. Say it or Justin. Oh, Justin left before he said hi. <laughs> um, while we are at that, um, oh, Mary Blessing, I think I saw her on the call. Oh, where is that? Um, do you have, um, you could raise any Anything you have? I remember the times I was joining Chaos. Um, at least I would I would be I would be confused some of the times while we're in the meetings. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering for the people like, who are on this call who are kind of like newer to the project. You know, like what was there an event or something that you participated in that you were like, oh, <laughs> I'm starting to understand what's going on now. You know, like I, I hear from a lot of people, like I went to the website and I still don't know what's going on. You know what I mean? But I think that's <laughs> changing. But like, was there something that you did that was... Uh, I I promise you it was personal initiative. <laughs> okay. Mostly, I give I give credit to the office hour calls because... Office hours, when they okay. Were so, yeah, they were so open and um, during the week, before the calls I would maybe try to look through some stuff and then I could have a couple of questions while I'm on the office or calls and I'm like oh what's this what's this what's this and okay Elizabeth would um throw up links or try to try to explain <clears throat> I remember she always struggled to explain what agar is and how it works <laughs> okay that's that's really good to know and Mary yeah. also says office hours this is really great. Like where you feel like where you feel like you attend and you make progress. Anita, I saw you on mute too. So I'm curious. Yeah. So um first thing it was after I picked up an article to write about the budget version three that I was able <coughs> to like do of research about chaos projects in general. So like uh, initially, I was just focus on the DEI badging because that was the main uh, reason why I joined the community because I like the badging initiative. Great. Okay, and I, I do have like join us as a DEI event badging reviewer. So would that be something we would want all newcomers to do? that's kind of what I was envisioning this checklist to be. What do you mean? Like, like this is the thing that we would want every newcomer to do. We would want them to complete all of these steps before oh, they really jump in. I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like maybe there's to, a... You have to become a reviewer. <laughs> that's a pretty big ask. Well, you can, yeah. No, but um, <laughs> like if you do these steps, then you will feel like you know enough to know where to go next really is kind of the you. the vision behind this but maybe there's another checklist of things that you can do or if you're like it would be like a phase two like okay you did all the newcomer stuff and now here's some other option for you like, like things. look at the teams and see where you know maybe something like that things we have heard that help <laughs> something like that which is, I have it down there at the bottom, like it's join us as a reviewer. Like after they've done this initial group of steps, like now how do we help them find their people and find their their team that they wanna join and, and where they wanna contribute? Right. Because I feel like if they do like the, the onboarding checklist, if they do those steps, then they will have enough information, enough context about chaos mm -hmm. to kind of know a little more about what they want and where they kind mm -hmm. of envision themselves mm -hmm. as moving next. 
So maybe it is two phases then. One is like, here, here are the things we want you to go take a look at. And honestly, like maybe it's like a page in the handbook. Like that's, just yeah, go, that's what we're thinking. That's just read yeah. this page in the handbook. Just start there. Okay. Yeah. That's what we were thinking is like, put it on the website even under like the newcomer knowledge base. Like here, here's what you can do very first. Like if you don't know anything okay. about cash, you're brand new, do these steps and then you will know a little more about what we do. Gotcha. And then you have more context about where to go next. And then, then like just attend one meeting. I gotcha. And then watch this one video. Yeah, yeah. And then I think when people come to chaos, like they, they want to do stuff like they want yeah. to know what they can do. So here mm -hmm. are some things that you can do on your own time and, your, you know, when it's convenient for you and that will help you sort through um, like where to go next instead okay. of just like immediately throwing them at a good first issue. Yeah. Not having any context about chaos at all. Right, right, right. So maybe we can put that in this document like, hey, before you before we think you can contribute or before before we encourage you to contribute or whatever, however we say it, here are just the things you probably need to do first just to orient yourself within the project. And it's going to take a little bit of time. Like, don't think that this will take just, you know, a day, but it might take a, take a week or two weeks. Okay. No, I like that. I can help work on this too. That makes sense. I know we're out of time. Well, we are out of time. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so I guess, I thank you, everybody. <laughs> All right. you're, you're welcome. That's what happens when you have to, to kind of lead all the sessions all morning. <laughs> so thanks for that, Enoch. Yes, thank you, Enoch. Yeah, sure. Uh All right. Well, bye, everybody. It's good to see you. See you later. Bye, everybody. See ya. Bye.